Since assuming office in December of 2023, President Javier Millet's bold economic policies have had a major impact on Argentina's economy. His administration implemented several sweeping reforms aimed at stabilizing the country's economy and addressing its long-standing fiscal issues. Here's an overview of how these policies have shaped Argentina's economic landscape. Now, one of Malay's first major moves was to drastically cut public spending. This including slashes, slashing state subsidies for fuel, reducing the number of government ministries and devaluing the peso by 50%. These measures were designed to curb Argentina's extensive fiscal deficit and bring government spending in line with revenue. As a result of these reforms, Argentina transitioned from a fiscal deficit of 2 trillion pesos in December of 2023 to a surplus of 264.9 billion pesos in April of 2024. And this shift marked the first monthly surplus since 2012 and indicated a significant reduction in the country's budgetary shortfall. Inflation remains a critical issue, though, for Argentina, despite recent reforms under Malay. The country's monthly inflation rate stood at 3.9% in August, with an annualized rate projected to reach nearly 123% by year-end. This inflation rate represents a reduction from previous months, but still remains extremely high. Malay's aggressive devaluation of the peso aimed to address inflation and restore economic stability. However, this policy also had complex consequences. The devaluation contributed to a contraction in economic activity, with Argentina's GDP projected to shrink by 3.2% in 2024. This is according to forecasts from the World Bank and the IMF. And this contraction, along with other reforms, has created an environment of market volatility and economic uncertainty, leading to reduced consumer spending and a decrease in economic growth. The economic adjustments have had significant social repercussions. Poverty rates have risen sharply, with 52% of the population living in poverty as of mid-2024, up from 41.7% the previous year. Additionally, 17.9% of Argentines have fallen into indigence. The surge in poverty and unemployment reflects the challenges faced by many Argentines as they adapt to new economic realities. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.